Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics. It's Monday, the 10th of October, 2022. In the Atlantic Basin, as we start the week, we've got this one area over here kind of loosely associated with the remnants of Julia National Hurricane Center, giving it a low probability of development over the next couple of days. And that extends to the five-day graphical tropical weather outlook map as well. Over in the Bay of Campeche, there is a little bit of a chance that this becomes better organized, again, as sort of a piece of the energy left over from what was once Hurricane Julia that made landfall in Nicaragua over the weekend. And that even extends over into the eastern Pacific. Julia is still around. It's a tropical storm hugging the coast there of Guatemala and El Salvador. And some of that energy could make it into the eastern Pacific further and maybe organize more. Uh, a low probability of that happening. That's what the yellow there indicates. Looking at the satellite animation of it, a very well-organized upper-level anticyclone over the Central American region. Very favorable conditions if it wasn't for the landmass, but there is a landmass in the way, and that is preventing this from being stronger than it is. But with that landmass in the way, of course, there's a lot of heavy rain and squally conditions down there, and that will have the potential to produce more mudslides, more flooding concerns for Central America as this system slowly moves along over the next few days. Elsewhere, strong upper level winds and drier air, plus the fact that we're getting later into the month of October here. Uh, the first third is just about come and gone. Two thirds of the month left to go. Things should start to wind down overall. Hurricane season is not over, but we certainly don't have anything out there to be too concerned with outside of the area that we will be watching there near Central America. And we can see that here on the Euro. This is the ECMWF from last night's run. A little bit of a chance there that something does try to develop from the northern piece of the energy there. You see it goes into the Bay of Campeche. A little bit of organization there in the vorticity signature. Nothing really prominent, nothing too strong in terms of uh, wind or low pressure or anything like that. But a big rain concern for Central America and Southeast Mexico as this moves into the region over the next few days. I'll take a look at all of this and more, including a look through the rest of the month of October to see what might be coming. Again, hurricane season not done just yet, but at least things are looking fairly benign for now. Again, I'll cover that plus much more in my hurricane outlook and discussion video later this afternoon. As always, thanks for tuning in to What's Up in the Tropics. Again, I am Mark Suddeth for Hurricane Track. I'll be back with you later today.